Good morning, everyone, and happy leap year. Today is February 29th. Welcome to the 2024 Gold Cup, the second leg of the Gauntlet of Polo today here in game number three. 
we have Park Place taking on Pilot on the Isla Carroll East Field at the National Polo Center in Wellington, Florida. I'm Toby Wayman. Joined with me as always, Cody Offit. Here we go, Cody, for another one. Thank you, Toby. Big heavyweight matchup here today, Park Place and Pilot. They only met once last year. That was the Gold Cup semifinals. Pilot won that game. We'll tell you more about it a little later on. But this Pilot team, their last matchup, they lost in the George Miller semifinal, 12-11 to Tamara, a game that saw Facundo Pires back in the saddle from injury. He scored seven goals in that game, went five of eight from the field. He also had six throw-ins won, and the team scored a season-high 12 goals in that game in Facundo's return. So I imagine the offense will be cooking a little more today. And again, they're looking to bounce back from that tough C.V. Whitney Cup tournament without their captain. But they have won just over 12 and a half throw-ins per game, second best of all teams here in the gauntlet. And Toby, today a little change in the lineup Antonio Hagee comes in to replace Santos Merlos in this pilot lineup. Yeah, and Park Place, you know, they they lost in the C.V. Whitney Cup semifinals to the eventual winner, Valiente, with an 11-10 score on the board. This che- this team has changed lineup uh, lineups throughout every, I think, just about every game of the C.V. Whitney Cup. Today's lineup is going to be a new one as well. Ojoa, though, is the, uh, is the only player that's played in all of the games so far. Uh, Best penalty accuracy in the C.V. Whitney Cup with 90.9%. That's amazing. Uh, He committed 14 fouls, or they committed 14 fouls per game. Most of any team. That's obviously because they work the hardest. And then uh, third most throw-ins won per game, which is 12.33. Another key stat here is they're the second most goals per game in the 2024 C.V. Whitney Cup with 12.33. And uh, let's jump into our rosters. So starting off, with Park Place, Andre Bordin makes his debut here this season, uh, playing that number one position. Juan Britos, number two, number three, Alario Ujoa, and the brand new addition to the team here, Marcos Bignoli, playing the number three position, Marcos Bignoli Jr., I should say, Marquitos. Then for Pilot, Curtis Pilot, playing number one, number two, Antonio Hege, Santi Torres in the number three slot, and then Facundo Pires making his return to the uh, USP Polo Network here in that number four position. Our mounted officials today are going to be Martin Pasquale and Kimo Huddleston. Third man is going to be Steve Dalton. And um, let's check out Ujoa real quick here. We've got a, a video on him. Well, Hilario, 7.7 goals per game. That was best in the CV Whitney. 23 total goals. And he scored over 100 in back-to-back gauntlet seasons, Toby. I think we're probably going to see that again here you can see he's also won 18 throw-ins he's sh- shooting 85.7 percent from the penalty line and again leading all the players in scoring during the cv whitney cup be fun to watch him here today and averaging 7.7 goals per game he's starting on lavinia irupe as well here really nice horse for hilario we're going to see juan obritos on rosetta and Marcos Bignoli is on MC Alexis Wren here to start to chucker. Oh, that mare looked familiar. And Andre Borodin, nice to see him back in the lineup as well. He's on Latia Repetida here to start chucker number one. And Farah is is uh, the horse that we got Santi Torres on here. He's the only one from Pilot who uh, who remembered to get back to me today. And uh, Torres right here taking that ball, working it forward. Now Britos comes in, steals it away from him. Juan Britos oh, doesn't get the next shot off that he's looking for, and it's going to be picked up here by Bignoli. Marquitos. Here comes the pickup now by Torres. Gets a little help from his horse right here. Santi drags that ball forward with him. Santi Torres working it down the right-hand side. Can't get that ball picked up and pulled off the boards. Coming in now, Antonio Hege lays the bump on Britos. Then gets still gets the hook off, but gets taken out there by Ujoa. Now Ujoa is going to go ahead and stay right here as look at Andre going in there to lay the pick and here comes the shot back off to the right hand side for Ujoa who was able to peel off from his man looks like they've got Antonio kind of camping on Ujoa at least right now Antonio I do recognize that horse that he's on right here he's being partially mounted by Pilot and partially mounted by uh, by Santos Merlos and that's a I'm pretty sure that's one of Santos's horses here coming in Facundo Picks up the ball. Facundo Pires right there. And Alario. Hmm. Wow. 
I thought they could have gone either way with that one for me. I, the first one there with Ujoa, I thought they could have blown, but then I think they're going to let that one go, and they're going to let, and they're going to pick up this one. Uh, oh, watch Hilario. He's going to come in. He ends up uh, maybe pushing Facundo. Looks pretty good from there, going near right side. There. Yeah, catches exactly. Torres with the right of way violation. Penalty five here for Park Place. All right, Britos picks up the pass. Wano winds up, fires at the goal from outside the 60. Look at this shot from Britos, and Ujoa comes in, takes out Antonio, and draws first blood on the day. 1-0. Now the score here in Chucker number one. What a play. Britos and Ujoa together. I tell you what, I don't know why they've been switching this lineup, because those two guys together, they're magic. I mean, as we saw, they won the U.S. Open last year. Yeah, one of the best one-two punches here in the gauntlet, if not the best, and look at that play Perfectly executed penalty five. Hilario with a short pass to Wano. He pounds it at the goal. That might have rolled on through, but Ujoa taking no chances there. He'll get the first goal of the contest. And Facundo wins the throw in. Facundo Pires right here. Holds that ball, winds up, fires back down. Looking for Antonio Hagee, who's got a step on his man. Antonio near side, next shot, doesn't connect. Who's going to be the next one there? It's going to be Hilario with a quick open back shot here. Where he's going to find Britos at the other end of that pass. And Britos takes off running right now down the left-hand side. Juan Britos looking good. Cruising. Here comes Curtis to put some pressure on Britos. He shuts down right now. Antonio Hagee goes back because Ujo is going up. And here comes Britos to take it here. Trying to get through uh, uh, Facundo. Facundo wins the play. Facundo Pires, man. Look at that. What a horse. Facundo. And we get a whistle here. I think they're going to catch Ujoa on this one on a right away. You're going to get a wholesale boat of changes here. Take another look at it. What a play here by Facundo Pires on the near side. Watch him flip this ball back to himself right here. What a play. Gets back on the line. And yeah, Hilario, he comes almost 90 degrees fouling two players there. Easy call for the officials. Penalty five. 438 left to go. Moving this one down to center. Favor of Pilot. All right. Antonio tees that ball up. Now here comes Facundo to bring the ball back into play. Facundo Pires hits this one off to the right hand side where he's going to find Antonio. And I tell you what, I got to watch Antonio play in England, and I, he's a heck of a player. Very, very strong player. We're going to get a whistle right here, though. They're going to. Catch Curtis on a right away. And it, it looks like Facundo's not happy about this call. Yeah, here it is again. Facundo with the pass forward. You'll see Bignoli and Heggie sort of override. And as Curtis comes in, Wano yeah. coming down that line. He got him. Spot hit. Over to the left. It's going to be Antonio to pick up this ball and turn it back around. Antonio Facundo there to lay the the pick and now Antonio gets back around to the right Hagee waiting for Facundo to either go up or he's going to hit a short pass up here to Santi Torres Santi takes off with that ball Santi looking good working it back the funnel effect comes into play as he works his way from right to left now here comes Antonio Hagee can he get to it Antonio with the next shot to send this one in he hits that one wide of the goal centers it up I should say but it's going to be Bignoli here to take it with him Marquitos over to the boards and he puts the ball on the boards, and now he'll leave that one there for Ujo. Oh, what a play by Facundo. What a... Oh. I was thinking he was good there, but let's see what we got on the replay. There's my man, Pasquale. Only one with the, enough courage to gallop up to the ball and pick it up. Take a look at the replay here. That ball will come off the boards. Kind of hard to see. Yeah, and I think the line's a little more up and down the field when it comes off the boards. Facundo still coming to it across the field there so they'll move this down to midfield penalty five in favor of park place so three penalty five so far for park place one for pilot two for pilot two for I pilot think, yeah okay ujoa first goes left then back to the center picked off right here by facundo Oh, they could have got him right there for delay. Now he's going to go ahead and take it off to the right. 
He's got Big Noli waiting for him here. Big Noli's going to win this ride off right here. No, nope, yeah, no. Nope. It looks like Facundo will get it done. Facundo turns the ball all the way back around. Facundo Pierce winds up, fires that ball back down from right to left. Coming in, Brito steals it away from Antonio and then takes it back around to the right. Antonio Hagee gets the hook on him. And it's going to be picked up here by Ujoa. Ujoa's going to be clean on that play. Alario still with control of that ball. Working it back around. Alario. Now coming in. It's going to be a belly shot here from Santi Torres. Oh, buried ball, I think. Or right away, let's see. Maybe we get a whistle right here. Waiting to find out. No, it is a buried ball. Yep. What? What did I just see? <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> was that was that ball stuck on the other side of the of the of the cane? That's crazy. Here we go. Oh, Curtis lost his mallet in Santi's reins, and now it's going to be Britos here to send it forward. Coming in now, Ujo is going to go ahead and take it with him right here. He's got Big Noli. Uh oh, going to let Antonio go right here. Antonio is going to be able to move back over, and make a play on. Ujoa, Ujoa muscles his way through. Look at this. What a play. Alario Ujoa. Man, he is just an animal. Going to the goal. Picks up the point. His second of the game, 2-0. Now the score. And Park Place is starting to fire on all cylinders here. What a goal here, Hilario. And he's changing horses now for the third time, at least here this chucker. Watch this play on the near side. Oh. What power there to get around. Hagee avoids the hook. Fights through the hook even and scores a fantastic goal. Another highlight real goal there for Ujoa. Now, ball's back into play. Ujoa, let's see. It looks like Facundo's going to win the throw in here. Facundo turns the ball back around to the left. He gets a good pick there from Santi Torres. Now, Britos is going to go back to Torres and try to hang with him. Now, here comes the shot from Ujoa, or excuse me, from Facundo at the goal from a long ways out. But it's going to be wide over the back line to the right. And so we're going to have a knock in here for Park Place, first of the day. Let us know from where you're tuned in. I'd love to hear from you. I, we've already got Abu Bakar from Nigeria tuning in. Appreciate you tuning in. Thanks so much. He seems to be one of uh, our regulars here on the USPA Polo Network. Here comes the pass back off to the right-hand side, and it's going to be picked up now by Juan Britos. Britos. Stops and hits that ball further down the field. Now Ujoa lets it come off the boards and doesn't waste time. He pounds it one time back down the field and is going to rely on the horsepower here. But here comes Curtis. Well done, Curtis. Way to get there. Nice back shot. Picked up now, though, by Antonio Hagee. He's going to turn it back. Oh, it looks like Facundo is waiting for that tail shot, but Antonio turns it. He checks up and then fires back down the field right here looking for Santi, who's out in front. All alone as Bignoli comes in to put the pressure on Santi. Puts his feet on the dashboard. Clutch might be slipping a little bit here. Then he winds up and fires again. Drags it forward. Can't get back to that ball on a tired horse. He's going to get back to it. Takes it away from the goal. Still trying to get some stop. And now Torres gets some help there from the horse. Little back shot from Bignoli, and that's going to set up Facundo. He turns it back around Facundo. He's in range right here. Knows he's got a little time. About 15 seconds left as Santi comes in. Goes to the man. Curtis comes in, too. Facundo looking for a shot at goal. He fires at the goal from just outside the 60 and sends it over the back line wide. So that's going to end shocker number one. 2-0 stands to score. Park placed in the lead over Pilot here in game three of the 2024 Gold Cup. Second leg of the Gauntlet of Polo, only on the USP Polo Network.
Welcome back, everyone, to the USP Apollo Network, getting ready to start chucker number two. And let's check out this head-to-head -head graphic from uh, the last time these guys met, which was last year. Well, again, let's see there. Yeah, yeah. There. Go ahead. We mentioned Pilot Victorious 15-14 in their Gold Cup semifinal matchup, the only time these two teams met in last year's gauntlet. And you can see the head-to-head -head statistics here. Wow. For the two 10 goal players out on the field today, 15 games for Facundo, 109 goals scored. You can see the assists, the throw ins. Facundo had some stellar stats last season, as did Hilario Ujo, of course. And Unbelievable, though. Yeah, some other, I mean, they've, they've met a hand, handful of times over the years now since the inception of the gauntlet. And if you remember in that Gold Cup semifinal game last year. Matias Torres Zavaleta. Unbelievable. Made an unbelievable steal. Scored the game winning goal. Again, 15 14. I no, bet you Juan not, Britos not is still. An, not in overtime either. Yeah, no, I bet you Juan Britos is still uh, losing sleep over that steal, you know, that knock in that he took and, and uh, Matias Torres stole from him and, and won that game. All right, here we go. Starting chucker number two. Throw-in's going to be on umpire Kimo Huddleston. Looks like they got Britos and Torres going into that number one slot in the throw-in here, which is interesting. Facundo will stay on the outside, as does Alario, and then it's going to be for Curtis here to win this one and give it over to Facundo. Well done, Curtis. Good play right there. Now, Facundo. Looking for a place to go here. He's going to break back to the left once again. Got space to work with here. He winds up and shoots at the goal from distance. I love it when he's shooting at goal. But here comes Wano with a neck shot. Man, what a shot there from Wano Britos. A reverse style. Back over to the boards. And Antonio Hagee comes in to pick up the play. Antonio decides to turn the ball back around. Antonio takes off right here. Gets hooked. And then <laughs> double teamed right there. And now it's going to be Facundo to pick up the play. Facundo taps once. And then will shoot at the goal from there. And... Man, that looks good. What a shot. Facundo Pires drains it. Que jugador. What a goal right there to pick up the point. Now making the score 2-2 two to two here. Did they start with one on handicap? I think they must have. No? I missed a goal somewhere. Facundo. Lake, take a look at this shot here. Facundo drops this one in. What a shot from the angle there. Oh, you know what? That last shot at uh, at the uh, end of the of the first shucker was a goal for Facundo. That's what happened. That's why it's two to two now. So he's got two points on the board. All right, balls back in. Here comes Antonio. Oh, he lets that one get away from him. It's going to be Alario Joe to take this ball back around. Now picked up right here. But Bignoli, he's going to take the man and let Ujoa break with that ball back to the right across the goal. Hits this one up there to Juan Britos. Britos is going to drop it back to Ujoa. Ujoa takes it forward. Britos going to drop in behind Alario. Britos takes that man. And now it's going to be Ujoa to fire this ball forward. Ujoa working it down the field right here. Ujoa back from right to left. Centers it up here for Bignoli, who's got the man held out. Marcos comes in, takes a shot from the near side and a great... Quick back shot there from a lot from uh, Facundo, and then it's going to be Antonio coming in here and stealing that ball away from Juan Britos. Antonio Hagi doing a great job at the number two slot right here today. Now another buried. No, there it is. Facundo winds up, doesn't connect the way he wants. Comes back to it here. Oh, good looking horse. Facundo's on here. Oh, I wish he had it. Uh, oh, hit Curtis there. Now, he sends this one back over here for Santi. Santi Torres on Lotus. Here to start off the second chucker. Here comes Facundo. With that ball, Facundo back around to the left. He's going to pick it up and turn it back here. Facundo. Looking for a place to go here. Trying to find a way to get to that goal. He drops the ball back, and Torres is going to come in and pick it up. Santi back around to the left. Well done. Gets Lotus to jump out there. Hits a little pass over to Facundo. Facundo keeps it away from Bignoli. 
Facundo, and they both tell him to use it. He hits it up here for Antonio. Antonio tries for the steal, but it's Britos to get a piece of that ball, and now it's going to be Ujo to take it with him and hits a quick, quick back shot here, too. Juan Britos. Everybody having trouble hitting that ball on this drive here. Britos, now Facundo comes in. Britos takes him, holds him out, and lets Bignoli have the ball. He moves it forward. Marquitos gets called off here by Juan, who takes it back around to the right. And then Facundo comes in and steals it away from him. Comes in from the side. That's a clean play. Facundo, again, going here near side. Britos with the steal. And Facundo going back. As Juan Britos gets it stolen back from by Facundo. Facundo digs the ball off the boards, but takes it deeper into Park Place territory. Waits for Britos to commit one way, and then he'll go back the other way. He's going to go to the left here. Yep. He's got. He's touching the man. He can tap the ball as many times as he wants, as long as he's touching that ball. Sends it up there to Antonio. Antonio trying to get something going here, trying to make a run. Hagee drags it back around. Didn't want to hit too far because Bignoli gets there. Hits the back shot. And now it's going to be Santi to come in here. Wait, what do we have? A whistle. A horse change timeout. <laughs> and all may change. Yeah, we're not too sure what the whistle is for here. That's we'll what's coming to, in. It's know. saying horse change timeout and all may change. But we're not sure if there was a foul or not beforehand. I don't think so. I think they just stopped the play. Well, anyway, let's see. Okay, so maybe Facundo did have a, a horse change timeout here. Let's see, Helen writing in. She's saying, uh, wow, I don't envy the umpires in this one. Great plays by everyone. Very true there. Let's see, Pakistan tuning in here. <laughs> Freestyle polo player. I like that. All right. Let's see. Another person tuning in from Nigeria, Sandra and Bert from Belgium, as always. Nina Clarkin. All right, Nina, watching from a very wet England. How I miss being over there, but very happy with the amazing coverage, so I can't watch in front of the fire, so I can watch in front of the fire. Oh, I love that, Nina. I'd love to hear you sit in front of a fire. I wish I could join you there. Nothing better than a good fire. Let's see. From Pakistan watching... Very, very cool. Let's see. Arizona. Okay, so we've got one person here asking me to mention their name, but I did not, I'm scared I'm going to butcher it. Captain. She. Captain Shazad from Shazad? Pakistan. Hopefully yeah. we're saying that right. If so, I hope, hope I made your, hope I didn't butcher your name too much there, sir. <laughs> All right. From Gilroy. Naveed tuning in from Czech Republic. Very cool. I love it. All right. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate you tuning in and all your comments. So, Toby, if there was just a whistle in the middle of the play there for a horse time change timeout, I imagine we might resume with a fair play free hit. Correct. But, it, you know, the, the, it would have to be that uh, one team or the other has clear possession of the ball. Otherwise, they'll throw it in. And it looks like they might go ahead and throw this one in. Yeah, it was kind of a loose ball. Santi Torres was riding up to make a play when the whistle sounded. So like you said, a throw in here. Looks like they're just going to go go for it as well. I would imagine on a, like on a back shot or something, it'd probably be more often than not a throw in. All right, Facundo with a quick open back shot right here, but Ujoa is there to cover the back door. He's going to hit a near side open style back shot over here where he's going to find Juan Britos. He sends that ball forward. Britos drops it back right here to... Torres gets back on it. Well done, Santi. Takes off with it here. Antonio is going to let Santi take off past him as Britos comes in to take out Antonio. And Santi keeps that ball to himself after. Then he gets the call for the hit. It gets deflected. And Ujoa comes up with the ball with a tail shot back to Britos. And Britos is gone back the other way. Coming in, Curtis. And now here comes Juan Britos. Britos. Oh, what a steal by Santi. But it looks like it'll be... Bignoli with a back shot here, and Bignoli 
is going to get caught on this one. Well done, Santi Torres. The polo kid himself. And we'll see where the umpires decide to place this ball down. Watch Torres one more time with the steal. He catches Bignoli across the front end. He needs to give Torres one more play on that ball. So whistle down quickly and if it go down to a... Well, they're going to drop it up midfield here for a penalty five. That's interesting. Yeah, I would have thought they'd have gone to a four there. Okay. Penalty five. All right, Facundo brings the ball into play. Facundo up here is now. He's got Britos watching. He's going to look to get Britos looking over the wrong shoulder. Then he's going to break back the other way just like this right here. He explodes past Britos, takes that ball with him, winds up, fires at the goal. Ah, Facundo, I love that he's shooting, though, from distance. That's awesome. This one goes wide over the back line, so we'll have a knock in here for Park Place. So their actual second knock-in, again, that we thought Facundo missed a goal at the end of the first chucker, if you were watching there. But after review, while we were on break, it was determined it went in. Yeah. Oh, look at Facundo coming in here. I tell you what, I like to see Facundo making these plays, doing these poaching plays in this game here. I think that's what he's going to need to do. Taken here by Torres, forward to the boards. Torres now gets there. Flips it back, takes off with it right here, gets away from Mignoli. Oh, drops the ball, though, and here comes Wano. And then Antonio tries to get to him. Facundo steals it back, and Facundo going back the other direction right here. Britos in pursuit. Facundo by himself. Straight breakaway. Did he hit this one too hard? He's working hard to get to it. Facundo Pires and cuts it at the goal. Oh, man. And it looks like it's going to be over the back line. Tough break there for Facundo. Hit it just a little too hard. And it got away from so lucky break there for Park Place. The score still stands two to two. What a cut shot by Facundo. Thought he might go with the open backhander. Look how close he actually got to that That's cut pretty shot. Pretty impressive wow. there, yeah. All right, they just brought the ball into play. Britos winds up and then hits it straight to Ujoa to the left. Alario decides to take it back behind Facundo. Whoa. Yep, this is going to be a foul against Ujoa. We'll find out, though, if that is indeed the case after this quick break here on the USPA Polo Network. Stay with us. We'll see you in a few. Philosophy of Centennial Partnerships is to mitigate risk through diversification. And that includes a group of horses and a group of people. But we don't want to take away the experience and the fun of the sport, so we limit the number of people in each partnership. We try to make the experience for people as exciting and as memorable as possible.
Welcome back, everyone, to the USB Apollo Network. Getting ready to start chucker number three here. And Cody, we recognize that gray horse there that uh, Bignoli's on. Yeah, that's Serena. Serena, Serena, I think they say. Park Place horse. We saw Cody Ellis play her a lot last year. I believe we saw Juan Obrito's player. I was player to say, yeah, he played her like two season, years ago. Really nice horse. We're going to see Juan Obrito's on Latia Mojarita and Hilario Ujoa on one of his homebred, Triunfo Notoria. Okay, so. Here's that last play, Toby. And as you were suggesting, you think Hilario might change the line back into. Gundo, that's what it looks like that's from that angle. exactly right. Yeah, they're going to go. I think this is a great call by the umpires here. And it looked worse from the original look that we got uh, than it did there. So, yeah, they are going to blow this one against Ujoa. Yeah, Fukuno's going to look for a nice tee here. He is certainly in range. And if you recognize that, Horace Fukuno ended the second chucker on. That was Mega Espia. Yeah, definitely one coming the, back. My favorite but from this history. One here, I mean, he's got – they're all phenomenal. That's the thing. He has, <laughs> they're all incredible. I don't know if this is – Twitter or not, I, but this is a this is one another one of his. I mean, they're all amazing. Look at this, his shot, man, it was going, but it had just a little bit of Argentine on it and goes wide over the back line to the right. I'm sure uh, Nina would appreciate that instead of English, a little Argentine there. <laughs> Here we go. It's going to be a cut shot off to the right hand side from the knock in. Here, starting off, Chucker number. Well, we. And that penalty five. Now, here comes the shot over to Bignoli. He gets taken out, though, by Santi. His shot back down the boards here. Picked up now by Gritos. Open back shot from Ojoa. And Torres, once again, will pick up the ball and turn it back around now as he's got Bignoli. He's going to take it to the left. Catch him. Pick here from Facundo, who then takes off running. And here comes Santi to slap that ball back towards the goal. Tough place he's put in there because, you know, you've got... Britos there playing deep back. So he'd have to hit just a pinpoint perfect pass to get that ball where Facundo can get to it and not Britos. But here comes Antonio Hagee, takes it through the man. Antonio getting back to it right here. What a play. Antonio. Oh, that was going to be the goal of the game right there if he'd have been able to put that one on in. I love that play. Did not foul. Kept it clean. But the ball goes wide. Oh, that would have been sensational. Watch Hagee here. Powers through. Bignoli and Serena gets the near side back shot off, just off target. Wow. We got North Macedonia tuning in today. Here comes Juan Britos back to the inside. Look at this horse jump out for him here, and he's going to be able to pull away from Facundo. Now Facundo breaking back, trying to get to Juan Britos. He checks just enough to let that ball settle and then hammers it back down where he's looking for Facundo, who, or excuse me, Ujoa, who's got a step on his man. Alario, oh, what a hook there by Antonio. Fantastic play right there. And it's going to be Facundo with a belly shot here. Facundo reaches out. He's got that ball picked up. Now, well done, Facundo. Gets out of there with it. Ujoa is looking for a delay of game call there, but it did not come. And here comes Bignoli for the defense. Tail shot back to the center. Where Antonio will ride and pick up the right of way, and he'll let Ujo oh. Antonio will lob this one back up there. And this time, he didn't hit it too far so that uh, Marcos could get the back shot. He's able to put it over there so that Facundo could get to it, and nobody else. What a ride off here by Bignoli. What a pickup, though. And now here comes Santi. Drags it back to the left. Santi Torres. Santi fires at the goal. Ay, ay, ay. They are snake bit around goal here in the third chucker. I believe this will be the fifth knock-in now for Park Place. Third of the chucker, no? And the pilot, like you said, just having some tough luck shooting at the goal so far in this one. Eventually, though, those goals will come. Now, Britos, or excuse me, Ujoa takes off running right here past Antonio. And look like Britos, he's got a fresh horse. He's going to blow the doors off of Antonio there for a second. But it's all right because it's going to be Facundo to intercept this play. Facundo takes it forward right here. Facundo gets out of there with it. Gets away from Ujoa. Facundo takes off running right here. Facundo still with it. Facundo. Facundo gets hooked on the play. Tries to muscle his belly shot. Picked up now by Antonio Hagee. He's going to shoot. And will this one go? Will a third time be a charm? Yes, it is. Fourth time, actually. And now we've got Pilot in the lead for the first time today. 
four two or excuse me three to the score now everybody but curtis going for a change after this goal take another look they have been knocking on the door all chucker and finally they get through antonio Haggy, his first of the gauntlet it's first of his gauntlet career yeah oh curtis on the wrong side here so is santi torres now the ball's put into play and so, it's going to be one right here by Santi. So, sorry, Santi's like, don't worry, Curtis. I'll come join you. Yeah, over exactly. There. All right. Antonio with a back shot here. Now, Torres, be careful of that drag. They'll get you. Here he goes. He sends it forward here for Antonio as Ujoa comes in to put him in the pocket. Facundo comes in to help out. Here comes the back shot. What a play right here. Look at this. Facundo had to step on his man. Facundo in the red zone. Oh, that is some power polo right there. Unbelievable play by Antonio and Reed by Facundo to jump and get past Britos and then run it on between the goalposts and pick up the point and double up park place on the scoreboard here. 4-2 the score. K Hugador, what a beautiful set of plays we just saw right here. Quick back-to-back -back goals here for Pilot. There's the Back shot assist from Heggy. What a horse, huh? Fantastic. And yeah, he just jumped on to a fresh one. He was on Twitter before that chestnut with the white face. I was right about that? Mm -hmm. Okay, good. All right, so now we're going to have Pilot with the, or Park Place with the off offensive side of throw in here. Ball's put into play. It's going to be Britos. And then Big Noli. Britos gets out of the way. Big Noli sends it forward here. And it's going to be taken now by Facundo. He'll take that ball with him. Facundo takes off running right here. Facundo tapping that ball way up in front of the horse's nose. Keeps it to himself. Can't get back to it. And it'll be taken now by Alaria Ujoa. Turns the ball back around as he gets a pick right there. Or a block, I should say, from Britos behind. Holding out Facundo. Here comes the shot from Ujoa. Back at the goal from distance. What a knockdown by Santi. Ooh, K Paso right here. Now Facundo gets out of there with it. Santi, and now it's going to be Britos. No way. What a play. Wano Britos. That was a crazy set of plays we just saw right there. Unbelievable knockdown by Torres. He wanted the whistle for the hook of the back shot there. I, I thought the he's getting hooked by the horse is uh, Martingale there. But the whistle didn't come, and ultimately Britos able to score the goal. And both teams working hard to score these right there. goals. I think that was clean. From here, it looked clean. The hook, he wasn't across the back end unless he hit, unless Marco, Big Noli's horse. horse. Yeah, he hasn't hooked him there. Tough to tell either way. Wano comes in. He gets a goal. Scores a tough goal. He might get back to back here too, out of the throw. Look at this. He is gone. Great approach. Antonio trying to get to him. Britos gets called off by Ujoa for the little open back shot, and it's going to be... Oh, what a save right there. Unbelievable. Well done, Hagee. Coming in, goes again, steals it back, and then it's going to be taken by Bignoli. Marquitos turns it back around, goes to the outside right here, wants to come back to the inside. He gets taken out right there by Torres. Santi will slap the tail shot back around, and it's going to be Alario here. This is a fun game we're watching right here. Some fantastic plays by both teams. Now Ujoa gets hooked on the play. Oh, Chucker. Wow. Okay. Look at this. What a fantastic play right here. Big Noli. He's looking for his first of the gauntlet as well and comes with a, a save. Foot. Wow. All right. That's going to do it for the first half. We'll be back after this quick break here. So stay with us. We'll be back in five after half here on the USPA Polo Network. In 1982, I bought this property, but this property was a swamp, nothing. Everybody told me, you are crazy. How are you going to buy that property? This is so far away. And I started to build the polo field, I started to build the barn, bring friends to enjoy and to play a little bit. One day I say, Luis, take care of the project, and he decided to put at a club. Hi. This is Luis Escobar. Welcome to Santa Clara Polo Club. It's a 
amazing. I can keep all my horses here five months out of the year. They take care of all of them and they do a great job. They're great with the horses. It's a really, really tight operation. Everybody works hard and I know the horses and that's always the most important part. You know, you gotta have a good relationship with the horses. The fields of Santa Clara are very good. Alejandro Batro, same family that took care of Palermo, he's helping us out at Santa Clara. I mean, this is probably one of the best fields I've ever played in. It's always dry, the field is good top shape, so it's a pressure to, to hit the ball, and when you miss it, then you're in trouble. I like that environment, it's safe, it's fun. Um, but it's still competitive, so. Well, after the games, we love to get together here at Santa Clara. We have a beautiful little spread. We have drinks, we have empanadas, and we just kind of come together with our friends and our family and have a great time. Luis Escobar helps me a lot. He helps me grow as a player. I play with him. He's always playing at the practices. And his two sons, Lucas and Nico, to be honest with you, this is home for us. We're super lucky to be able to play with our with our granddad. Our, our granddad and our dad all at the same time. Not a lot of people can do that, so yeah, we're extra lucky. At Santa Clara you can bring your horses or you can bring your boots and helmet. But we have it all.
All right, welcome back, everyone, to the USPA Polo Network. Getting ready for the fourth chucker. Before we jump into that fourth chucker, let's hit check out our first half stats here. One thing we can already point out here that's pretty impressive, neither team has received a goal shot penalty yet. Yeah, incredible. We saw one penalty five. Facundo Pires was in range to shoot at goal. He almost got it, too. Just missed. Pretty even stats, though, here, Toby. It's been a pretty good game. It started a little slow offensively. I mean, not a ton of goals here, but... Man, not a lot of fouls, especially after that first chucker. And we've seen some incredible play from both teams. And, I mean, the stats, you can Wait, see there. No, just... Pilots had two knock-ins. They had one knock-in in the second, one in the third. At least. But, yeah, I mean, the six knock-ins for Park Place, really the difference in this game has been those missed opportunities by Pilot. And they do have a one goal advantage here heading into the second half of play. So, all right. So two things before we jump into this. First of all, I just uh, noticed and remembered, I should say, that uh, Julio Ariano has been coaching Park Place for the past few years. But it looks like he's jumped sides. He is coaching Pilot this year. And we saw him down there uh, at the halftime tent. But then also something going out to everybody at home. So obviously everybody knows that, that that is a regular here on the USP Polo Network. We've been getting different people to come in and be our guest commentators for our feature game of the week, our Sunday 3 p.m. games. And so I was just talking with the producers, and we thought we'd you know go ahead and uh, ask everybody out there, let us know if there's anyone that you would like for us to have on as a guest. We'd love to hear from you. Please hit us up in the comment section here on Facebook, or you know you can use the hashtag USPA Live on Twitter or X, and uh, yeah, love to hear from you, who you would love to hear from, who you'd like to hear from as a guest commentator for our feature game of the week, because we've still got the rest of the Gold Cup and the U.S. Open, so a lot of opportunities to have a bunch of different people on, so here's, here's this last play. Yeah, final play of the first half here. They're going with reaching here against Ujoa. And it's going to be a center hit in favor of Pilot. Hilario coming out on Lavinia Morea here to start the second Ooh, half of yeah, play. Yeah, he's coming out strong now. Juan Obritos is on Lavinia Castagna, another incredible horse. And we'll see Bignoli riding Anaconda Easy Jet in chucker number four. I'm not familiar with that one. And Andre Borodin is on Open Charismatica here to start chucker number four. We're doing all right with Facundo. Toby and I have recognized, I think, two of maybe five or six horses that he yeah, jumped exactly, on in right? the first half of play. Well, and then I know we've got Azarenka is another one, Exclusiva. I'm not sure if this is... Yeah, I, it's, I, gotta, yeah, I haven't seen a whole lot of Facundo this year, so it's tough to remember those horses but this is definitely one of those awesome horses of his look at this here he goes explodes out of there reaches up in front can't keep it alive now Ujo is going to take it back across but Facundo will recover this play Facundo coming in what a back shot and cutting that ball out of there is Bignoli Marcos reaches well done Marquitos gets back to it again here he's touching the man so he's okay there now it's going to be stolen back. Alario gets out of there with that ball somehow. And now it's going to be Ujoa to keep it going here. He's going to be challenged there by Santi Torres. And it looks like they're going to catch a whistle here on Torres, I think, for an uneven ride off here. Yeah, we had a couple of big appeals there. They caught something. Take another look at it. Watch. See it very clearly from that drone angle. So penalty five from midfield here goes in favor of Park Place. Okay. All right. More people tuning in from Nigeria, from India. Very cool. All over the place. I love it. All right. Here comes... Penalty five from center, and Ujo is going to hit it one time right 
off to the left. And it's going to be Facundo to recover this play. He'll take it forward as Britos gives him the respect there to not try to dive in there and try to steal it. He's going to hit this one to the left where Antonio sees the ball. He'll come in with Ujoa. Turns it back to the inside. Ujoa lays the bump on him, but Antonio keeps control of that ball. Now, Antonio will hit this one back off to the right-hand side where he's going to find Santi Torres riding hard with Bignoli. I tell you what, Marco's done a great job on Santi here today. Picked up by Ujoa, and Antonio comes in, takes out Ujoa. Oh, what a hook in the back shot there by Ujoa, and now it's going to be picked up by Facundo. Looking around, drags it back to the left, winds up, hits the ball off the boards. At, man, that ball just pops off of his mallet. He's got to have super hard heads to get that kind of just pop when he hits the ball here. Facundo back on it again. Taps it forward once. Clean play, and fi- after taking one glance at the goal, he fires at the goal. Oh, man, what a try there. Man, Facundo, I tell you what, eventually those goals are going to start dropping for him, and it could be a long day at the office for Park Place. Yeah, he's getting dialed in, shooting from everywhere. He almost scored with a back shot. Yeah. The previous drive and that one from basically the sideboards. And like you said, Toby, looks like he's just swinging pretty normally, and that ball just pops off his mallet. He hit that almost... 100 yards from the sideboards. What do we have here? I was looking down at my paper right when that... Yeah, we'll take another look at the replay. It's going to go in Park Place's favor here. And just coming up right here, I believe, you're going to see... I I don't understand. Yeah, me neither. What did Pilot... I don't know what... Yeah, Pi- you could see Facundo Pierre as he wasn't too happy. Yeah, I don't understand what Curtis... Curtis was fine there, I thought. Offside. Ah, there you go. Offsides by Antonio. See, that's why I, that, that rule is... Mm. Mm. Here we go. Ojoa Sends it down, coming in. It's going to be Ojoa and Facundo now coming back. It's a back shot here from Bignoli. Now Britos will jump back on that ball, turns it back around. Horse just dancing for him here. Now he's going to get caught, leaves that ball behind, and it's going to be taken by Antonio. Oh, he's going to get caught there. Dominic got it. He says offsides on pilot. Ethiopia tuning in, too. Very cool. Billy Rav said Memo did a great job on Sunday. I agree with you. Thank you very much, Billy. Appreciate you tuning in and... Right into us. Penalty two coming up. Going in favor of Park Place. First goal shot penalty of the day. With a chance to tie it up right here. Ooh, Alario got it done. His third goal of the game. Back to center we go. Alario took in a couple more swings at it, knowing that one almost got away from him there a little bit. Tied up, four goals apiece here. Now it's going to be Santi gets hooked there by Bignoli. And Britos will come up with the ball. He's going to hit a tail shot back around for Facundo. Or excuse me, for Ojoa. Facundo trying to get over there to make a play on Ilario. Ilario winds up. Oh. Yep. One way or another, somebody's going to be wrong here. We're going to let the Empress sort out who it is. Appears they're going against Park Place. Although, At the moment, we'll wait. Watch Ujoa. He, yeah, the, yeah, that's true. Because yeah, well, yeah, I don't know. Well, they're going against take Facundo it back. here. Yeah, they're going to take blow this one against Facundo. And they're going to drop makes, this down on the penalty three line for Hilario. Huh.
you could sell you could tell by where the uh the lines the penalty lines are drawn right there that I guess uh Facundo is standing directly between the ball and the goal. Here he it is from up. the drone. You can see Hilario change the line here. Uh yeah, I don't know. That's okay. They're going to move it up to a penalty, too, Yeah, it was it oh, was unsportsmanlike conduct against Facundo. Ouch. Yellow card against Facundo. So from a three to a two. And Alario puts it back on through and takes the lead back again. 5-4, now the score. Four goals for Ujoa, two from the penalty line and two from the field. Back to the center. Okay. Is Facundo back on Espia here again? Maybe. I don't know. Pulls that ball forward now. It's going to be a back shot here to Britos. Juano Britos takes it on the bounce. Man, what a shot out of the air in the sweet spot. Here comes Antonio Hege to put pressure on Britos. He gets there, makes the neutral play. Next player has to be a pilot player, and it's going to be Facundo. Facundo looking around for somebody to hit to. He's going to go ahead and hit it, keep it to himself right here as he's got Ujo waiting for him. Now he'll pound that ball back down the field where he's got Torres with a step on his man. But Bignoli comes in. They're waiting for the ball to drop, and now it's going to be Torres to take the hit there from Bignoli. I tell you what, Marquitos, he's a smart player. Well done. Gives that ball right back. Now Facundo puts it to the one place where he forces those defenders out of his way. He fires at the goal, and he's going to get caught right here. Yeah. Or Ojoa is going to get caught one way or the other. One of them's going to be wrong. Again, it's going... Looks like they're calling this one against... Ujoa is the, the uh, word we're getting in right now from the field. Taps it forward, right? Okay, so I tell you, I mean, virtually the same play. So, yeah, I think it's a pretty good call here. They're going to make it a penalty two in favor of Pilot. Their first goal shot penalty so far today, and Kudno Pira is with a chance to get this game tied right back up. Yeah, can't complain, really, if you're Park Place. Virtually the same foul, just the opposite way here. Oh, horse not helping him at all right here. Facundo has no trouble, sends it straight on through, and he's going for a spare. Straight note for him just at the end there. It's always a little more difficult when you're facing the trailers right there in the corner. She wanted to run back. Got a little sideways, but Facundo Pierre has no problem there. He has four goals now. Again, just his first from the penalty line, three from the field. Cavalera, Milagrosa, Twitter. Okay. Facundo hits it off to the right-hand side right here. A short pass over to Torres. Santi's got Facundo breaking down the field right here, and Antonio takes the pick. Now here comes the shot from Santi, Santi Torres. He's going to go ahead. Ay, ay, ay. Well, he got that one good enough to get it back over to Antonio. Pushing it. Now they got to clear out of his way. And he fires at the goal, but you get a whistle. Delay a game. That one hurts. Again, another smart play here by Pignoli. <laughs> clears out enough, gives Heggy some room here. Watch, he clears to the side of the line, waits for him, and then that extra tap is the, the, the delay of game. So penalty five from the spot here for Park Place. 
All right. Wano. There goes Ujoa down the middle. Brito's going to hit him on the fly right now. Looks like Ujoa's got the speed to get there. Here comes Big Noli. Near side next shot. What a, oh, what a shot. Marquitos, it's still on the field. And here comes... I guess that's a great play right there. The ball deflects off the post, and Ujoa is clean on it. You know, uh, uh, you got Facundo riding for the foul. He didn't really push too hard because I think he realized, he yeah, there's the nothing line. he could do on it. You know, exactly. Big Noli with the neck shot on the near side comes off the post, and like Toby says, so the line changes here, so Facundo doesn't really have the line, and that's why he didn't really complain too much either. All right, Ujoa. Takes that ball back out of the air. Facundo comes in to challenge. Ujoa, he lets him have that first shot. And now it's a horse race here. And it's going to be a belly shot here from Facundo. And it's going to be picked up now with an open back shot here from... Good knockdown right there by Wano. He gets to it, turns that ball quickly. And then he's going to catch Santi in the turn right there when he gets away from him. Fires that ball forward. Miss cues. Able to get back to it again. Torres will pick up this ball right here. Flip it back. Oh, what a play, Santi. He fires one. Doesn't connect as good as he'd like. Coming in. Britos gets there and hits that near side back shot. Torres there for the defense. Takes it with him right here. Santi Torres winds up and whips that ball forward. Looking for extra yardage right here. And that ball, wherever it stops rolling, is where we're going to have the throw in. Yeah, we got to see a, a true uh, buzzer beater for the first time ever on the gauntlet. Or should I say, on the USP Apollo Network yesterday uh, in that Coca-Cola game in the second chucker. It was pretty amazing. All right, right now, though, score stands 6-5 pilot in the lead. Excuse me, park place in the lead over pilot. And we'll be back after this quick break here on the USP Apollo Network. The National Polo Center, US Polo ASSN Field 1, is where the oldest and most prestigious tournaments are played. Field 1 is, is something special with the grandstand over there. It's, it's a dream. Generations of athletes, enthusiasts, and visionaries have left their mark on this field, shaping it into a symbol of excellence. That could be good. He's going to get there. Jack Whitman's going to win the game. He gets it done. It's the majors for polo, at least for us here in the U.S. The highs are high and the lows are lows. Honestly, it's hard to describe. I cannot imagine what it will be to be on the field. It is the field that all of these women, myself included, strive to play on. If you're there, that means that you're playing a final. And the final is a different game. As the sun sets over the premier polo field in North America, we are reminded that this is more than a sport. It's a celebration of heritage. Join us in Wellington, Florida, and be a part of polo history at the National Polo Center, U.S. Polo ASSN Field One. Welcome back, everyone, to the USPA Polo Network. We've got 15 minutes left in regulation time here in the one and only game of the day in the USPA Gold Cup, second leg of the Gauntlet of Polo. We've got people tuning in from Ethiopia and Manipur. Very cool. 
as well. If you're in town, Toby, 2 p.m., 4 p.m., That's 16 right. goal, Wellington Polo Tour, some good games this afternoon. I think I'm going to have a chance to do some tailgating today. There you go. Yeah, it's exactly. Been, been a very busy month of February. Haven't had a, many days to watch polo yeah. other than here in studio, of course. Well, you're, yeah, you're, you're going to you're going to get a chance to tailgate. I'm going to I'm going to be working those games there for the Wellington Polo Tour. Look at this Facundo. Nothing else. One? Nothing else you'd rather be doing, though. I mean, honestly, I love it. OK. Spain tuning in to Pakistan. Now here comes Facundo with that ball. Facundo. Drops it back right here to Santi Torres. Torres back around. Santi now leaves it for Facundo. No, that's going to be a clean play. Facundo takes off right here. He's got Bignoli, makes the hook on him. Next one to it. Santi Torres takes it forward, takes the tennis serve out of the air, tries to get the next one on it, can't do so, and it's going to be Ujoa to come up with the ball. Ujoa gets taken out right here. Well done. Alario felt Facundo coming in. Now he leaves that ball for Britos. Wano. Britos cuts it to the right. Not enough on that one. And it's going to be a great play right here by Antonio. Makes the bump and then the ride off. Now, Facundo looking for the whistle there. Doesn't find it. New Ujoa with a tail shot back around. Here comes Antonio. Hagee. Open back shot over to Facundo on the boards. Facundo taps it back around. Then gets away from Alario. He takes off running right here. Drops it back to Antonio. Hagee back to the right. Antonio breaks. Reaches out. He's got that ball going. Here comes. He puts his feet on the dashboard here. And then. Yeah, well done. Turns it back. Did not like the shot he had there. Going to get a delay game here if he's not careful. He takes his shot. Britos knocks it down. Taken now by Torres. And Torres picks up the whistle right here. This could be in penalty one territory. Yeah, certainly is. You can see Juan Obritos in the back going for a quick change here. Still just about six minutes left in the chucker. Here's the shot forward from Heggie. Comes off. And, yeah, I think Big Noli's going to get Noli caught. Big comes across. Penalty two. Valerio Ujoa starting this chucker on Alberta Shadowfax. We'll name Alberta horses from Freddie Mannix. From Mannix? Here comes. All right. There's a shot straight on through by Facundo. Picks up the point, and we're going back. To the center for the throw. Oh, you bend about tuning in, watching. And Kugo Escapate, you're getting around, man. You were just tuning in from Texas yesterday. Now you're in Loxley, Alabama. My oh, man, Kugo must be on his way, moving back towards the east here, I guess. Okay. Ball, balls put back into play. All the way back in. Now it's going to be taken right here by Santi. Torres gets out of there with that ball. Santi breaking with this one, working it down the field here, looking good. Torres fires at the goal. Facundo picks it up right here. Facundo Pires going for this one near side. Drags it forward. Little flip shot. Oh, what a play. Facundo, incredible master of the field there, of, of knowing his distances and how much he's got to work with. He drags that one forward on the near side, puts it wide, knowing he's going to be able to get to it and give it a flip shot on the offside. Look at this play. He can sense Britos is close, so he goes with that little scoop shot, Gee. protects it on the near side, a little cut shot finish. Excellent goal. Unbelievable. Six goals on the day now, all but one for Pilot, have come off the mallet of Facundo Pires. All right, back to the center once again. And Ujoa busting out of there with that ball. He is gone. Straight breakaway. They can't catch him. All they can do is hope he misses. This is Ilario Ujoa, though. Rarely does he miss. Ujoa, and of course, I jinxed him right there. Not really. It went ahead and went on through, and Britos will get credit for that one. And we're back to a tie ball game here. Hilario with the run. Britos with the credit here. This may have just rolled over the line, but Britos won't take any chances. Torres won't be able to get there. Watch Britos come in and just yeah, make sure it. of it. There was one earlier in the game where Hilario probably could have let it roll on through and Britos would have got the goal, but he didn't want to take any chances either. They'll exchange goals there, and Hilario 
excuse me, Britos now has two goals on the day. Impura is the name of this, is the horse that um, Santi Torres started on here. Now he's going to use Facundo there. He takes it to the left. Brito stays with Facundo. And now Santi hits it to the right over here for Facundo to come in and recover. Oh, Antonio tried to. Well, done. Now now Bignoli, he's going to get pushed. Goes to the near side next shot, and it's going to be taken now by Facundo. Pires, he turns, he jumps over the boards. Coming in now is going to be Antonio with that ball, pushing it forward, forcing Bignoli out of his way. And now Facundo. Oh, he's going to get lucky right there. He didn't get a delay a game. Now, Facundo, he's got plenty of space and room to shoot here. Oh, my goodness, Facundo comes back to it. Well done, Facundo. He's going to pick up the whistle right here. Very smart play by Facundo Pierce. You can see Facundo. He wants a, a he's goal shot, but that's way. a spot hit all day. He's going away from the, the goal to yeah. the boards. I agree here, but again, a good play. He misses this ball, but the line never changes. He turns back directly on the line. You can see Bignoli going straight up and down the field there with that line on a bit of a 45 degree. So Facundo, he's 46. In range. He's in range, not a big circle. He might tap this one time and then hit at the goal. Yeah, he's going he's gonna to work it here for sure. He's going to go ahead and run too. Brito there to put him in the pocket. He's looking for a free shot at the goal right now. Here comes Antonio looking to lay a pick, and now he'll break back to the right as he caught uh, Brito's flat-footed there just long enough. He drops it back to Antonio Hege. Antonio right here. Oh, it's going to be picked up now by Santi, and he's going to get caught. Ay, ay, ay. Antonio. And they're going to a four on this one. Yeah, nobody. And rightfully so. Nobody back. I think that's a good call. And, yeah, that play here, you'll see Antonio... Heggy, he changes the line, but it comes off he of Britos' horse. I don't he know put, why he's going for the foul. Yeah, because he put it into Britos's horse, so heads up play by Wano to recognize he can make a play on that ball. And Park Place end up drawing the foul there, here. Yeah, penalty four. We never should have said anything at halftime about there being no goal shot penalties. <laughs> <laughs> we jinxed, uh, jinxed ourselves there. And since then, we've had two, three twos, four twos, and a four now. Yeah, first, <laughs> first penalty four opportunity of the day here for Park Place and Hilario Ujoa. So, my man Dominic says he's watching from the... Uh, uh, Tacoma on Connors Highway. Worst road in the USA. Well, <laughs> sorry about that, Dominic. <laughs> Tacoma. Southern California. Thank you, Nancy. Again, if there's anybody that uh, you guys would like for us to get in as a guest commentator for our feature game of the week let us know in the comment section love to hear from you um they don't necessarily have to be here in florida we can do remote too which is something that we're looking at for this sunday we did that before with nina clark and she was back in england for the women's u.s open final oh man safety so yeah like i said let us know we'd love to hear from you Le leslie Tuning in from Philly. Now I'm curious if that's the the road out to Port Mayaka where Dominic's. Boy, I know, right? The Tacoma's got some nice shocks. I mean, that. <laughs> yeah, that, that's true. We do not promote watching from your car either, folks. Uh. <laughs> Unless you're the passenger. All right, safety upcoming here. That was blocked down, put wide. And Juan, I was going to tee this one up. I'm not sure if Hilario is changing. Horses are just telling Wano to take this one. Here he comes. No, don't like that T. Don't like that T. It's one of those. While he's waiting for Hilario to come out, he's just going to keep changing yeah. T's back and forth. Well, I actually found a pretty good one right here. Hilario likes it too.
All right. Ah, uh, yes. Well, don't worry. Frio horse. We're going to, he says, uh, Gary again, please. Well, we're definitely going to get him back for sure. We're saving Mariano for a final because he's fantastic. Here comes Ujoa shot. It is up and it is good. And we've got Park Place back in the lead. 8-7 the score. Six goals on the day now for Hilario Ujoa. And low scoring game overall here, especially in that first half. I didn't think Hilario was going to reach his 7.7 .7 goal per game average. But now it kind of looks like he might get there. And now, especially winning this throw in here, here he goes, takes off running. Now, Ujoa still with that ball. I'm good. Gets it stolen away here by Facundo. Then back shot here from Ujoa. They don't see the ball. Britos does now. It's going to be taken by Britos. Near side open. Back shot to set up. Alario, he wins the ride off right here with Facundo. And we're going to get a two-goal ball game here. What a play by Britos to send it back over to Ujoa, who's able to send it on through and beats Facundo on that play. Two quick goals here back-to-back -back for Hilario Ujoa and Park Place. Regain this two-goal advantage, and there is that wonderful ride-off by Hilario, and you can see Faku in the background. He can do nothing but watch Hilario dribble that one on through. Um, he might have jumped back on Mega Espia yeah. as well now. Here comes, I wouldn't blame him, he needs it. Here comes the shot uh, by Torres. It's going to be deflected. And here comes Bignoli. Open style, near side back shot there. And Hagee takes out the man. Facundo comes in. He's going to get caught there. Horacio Hagee is another suggestion coming in here. That's great. Absolutely. Take another look at this. I think we're going to get Facundo Perez pushing a player into... Mm -hmm. The right of way here into the pack. You can see two red shirts pushing two blue shirts into each other there. Penalty five from midfield, it looks like, in favor of Park Place. And then we got, all right, any of the Arianos? We could make that happen. Guest speaker Julio Ariano. Sure. Well, Julio, he's coaching right now, yeah, too. But, yeah, exactly. He'd be fun to have. Coaching for this pilot team, and of course, previously the coach of Park Place. Yeah, switching sides here. Ojoa holding that ball as Britos now comes back in behind him. Nobody coming to him just yet. That's crazy. Now Britos going to go ahead and hit it one time back up to Alario Antonio. Come well done. What a great play there by Curtis to stop that shot at goal and give it back over to Facundo. Facundo waits for his teammates to get back in to help him out. Now, 30 seconds remain here. He's going to break back to the right-hand side as Antonio takes off running right here. And now it's going to be Facundo taking that ball on the bounce out of the air. Awesome style right here. He lets it get away from him there. Bignoli gets a piece of it, and it's going to be Santi Torres to come over the ball. Santi back around to the outside right here. Torres drops it back to Facundo. Well played, Santi. And then Facundo fires Back towards the goal, looking for a great pass here to Torres. Are we going to get a buzzer beater right here? Torres going for it. Go, go, go. And Torres gets it done. What a play. What a goal right there. And that might have been a buzzer beater too. Either way, the goal will count. 9-8, the score to end. Chucker number five. Park play still in the lead. Stay with us. We'll be right back for the sixth Chucker. But take a look at this one more time. What a great play right here by Pilot Polo Team. Great pass, great pickup and finish here by Torres. He continues to push so Britos can't get there. Great way to end this chucker for Pilot. All right, we'll be back. Stay with us here on the USB Polo Network.
Welcome back, everyone, to the USP Pool Network. Getting ready to start chucker number six. We got a one goal ball game here. 9 8 the score. Park Place in the lead over Pilot. But let's check out the play of the game so far. A lot of great goals to choose from this. Maybe the best, one of the best. I mean, watch this play here. Hilario Ujoa with the pass from Britos and some serious horsepower. He catches up to Hagee, then goes near side, blows past him. What a finish here. That is an amazing goal. On a tough angle as well. Watch straight horsepower. Drone. Just around the outside of Hagee. Wonderfully done. And again, Hilario, seven goals now on the day so far. One shy of topping his season average of 7.7 .7 goals per game. So we got some great suggestions coming in here for uh, guest commentators. I love it with Danielle Gonzalez. Uh, let's see. Somebody asked uh, also about Horacio Hagee. And then we got somebody asked about a high goal umpire. Actually, we're going to have, you know what? We're going to have um, the head of the umpires uh, is going to be coming in to do the game with us, Fergus Gould. He's going to be coming in for one of uh, the Sunday games and be our guest. And then Glenn Gilmore, another great suggestion there. Actually, I played with Glenn Gilmore back when I was 17. The first high goal tournament I ever played uh, in my life was with Glenn Gilmore and Tommy Biddle for the Wildcats. And uh, anyway, and then Mike Azaro, Owen Reinhardt, Adam Snow. Yeah, Adam already, I already asked Adam. He's going he's gonna to do one when he can. Here we go. Ball's back into play. Facundo drops it back. Here comes Santi with a quick back shot there, but it's knocked down. And we'll get a whistle. Umpire timeout. Oh, do we have an injury, maybe? Yeah, it looks like Facundo looking at his hand here. Take another look. Does he get hooked on the hand? Might have just been the vibration or maybe that mallet had slid up there at the end and caught Facundo on that right mallet hand. Either way. On the money hand there. Well, anyway. Uh, actually, yeah, Chris Curley asked about when my dad is coming back into town, and I'm definitely going to get dad in here to be our guest commentator uh, once he's here. I think my wife told me that my folks are going to be coming in around – 28th of March. So we'll get Tommy in as a guest during the open. But yeah, he's great. Yeah. Uh, lots of fun. I got to do one with him a few years ago and it was actually, it was one of Facundo's games. Cause I remember we talked about uh, Magnifica, one of my favorite horses there that he had. She's, I think, I think he sent her back to Argentina. Isn't that right? Cody, is that, I, I, I thought I told you that. Uh, Facundo told me, I think he sent her back. He might've retired her. But regardless, Cuco Escapate says, Cuco Escapate is a guest commentator. Absolutely. I'd love to have you sometime, Cuco. Well, injury timeout still here. I'm trying to see. I believe I can. Yeah, all eight players are on the field. So we're going to resume play. It looks like this will be a fair play free hit. So in favor of Pilot, we're not getting any word of a foul. So I think just a free free play, fair play, free hit, I should say. Yeah. All right, here we go. Free hit, not really a penalty. Here comes Facundo. Bringing that ball back into play. Chucker number six. Now, here comes Facundo slapping that ball back towards the goal. It's Antonio trying to get to it, but it's going to be McNulli with a near side back shot. He breaks up the play. Facundo's going to be the first one to turn back. Now, here comes Facundo working it back around. Facundo back from right to left. Look at the shot from Facundo. Does he drain it? Oh, just wide over the back line. We did get confirmation that was the uh, road out to the port that we were that Dominic was on that we were talking about earlier. Steve Kruger just told me he said, "Yep, that's the road to the port," and it is pretty pretty bad. Here comes the shot off to the right hand side. 
It's going to be picked up here again by Juan Brito. Oh, Britos. That's all right. Ujo is there to back him up. Antonio Hege playing off of Britos a little bit, or off of uh, Alario a little bit here. Ujoa going to bust down. He's got the man beat on this play. Ujoa is cooking down the right-hand side right here. Facundo comes in to take him out. Facundo can't get there. ujoa has got the speed to get past Uj Facundo. Look at this approach shot. Put too much on it. Facundo checks to go back to the goal right here as it's going to be Alario to take the ball off the back line to the boards. Now Facundo comes in to challenge. Facundo and Ujoa come up together. Facundo lays a bump on him. Now, Ujoa takes off with it to the right, and he's going to turn it back to, to the right here. Looking for the ball. Oh, what a steal. What a read by Antonio. What a play right here. Antonio taking off running. Britos pumping, trying to get to him. Here comes Antonio Hagee. Antonio tries to keep. Oh, what a pickup. Antonio Hagee right here moves back over, gets that ball picked up, and now it's going to be picked up here by Ujoa. That was an incredible run and play. Here comes Ujoa, near side, open back shot, knows if Facundo's with him, hit that ball away because Facundo can't be in two places at one time. Here comes Curtis Pilot for the defense. Pilot gets there. Well done, Curtis. What a back shot to the boards to set up Santi. Santi gets back to it. Torres going to leave that ball for Facundo to dig off the boards. Facundo takes off to the center. Facundo back around now. Facundo got Vignoli there to put some pressure on him, and it's going to be... Vignoli to try to steal on the near side. Now Facundo takes off running right here. He's got the man beat. Facundo looking to put one on the board right here. He drops it back to Torres. Torres picks it up. Santi has a little trouble with it. He gets it back under control. Torres drags it back around to the right. To the left, I mean. Santi Torres with Ujoa right there on him. Now he waits for Ujoa to come to him. He'll give it back to Facundo, who gets away from Ujoa. Makes the hook. And now Facundo back on that ball. Puts it there, forcing Ujoa out of his way. He's going to get the pick right there. And get caught with a delay of game. Yep, delay of game. Ay, ay, ay. Tough break there for Facundo and Pilot. Penalty five for Park Place with a delay of game foul. Doing a lot of work here, but you can see it. It was one, two. Well, I don't know. He's within two horse lengths. I guess he was right there. Wano. Leaves it now for Ujoa, who breaks first left, then back to the right. Now Torres comes in to put Ujoa in the pocket. Ujoa's going to go ahead and try to run past him right here. Alario burning across the field now. Ujoa leaves it there for, whoa, for Britos. Wano with the pass back to Ujoa to the center. Coming in, it's going to be picked up here by Torres. Santi, quick open back shot there to Facundo. Facundo with another open back shot right here, but Ujoa comes up with the ball. Alario. Gets past midfield. Here comes Ujoa. Here comes Facundo. Oh, what a play. Ujoa feeling Facundo coming in there. He leaves the ball for Britos. One time, Britos doesn't mess around. He hits it. What a play by Britos. Back over here to Alario Ujoa. Santi comes in to put him in the pocket. Alario right here. Drags it back to left. Trying to get Torres to look over the wrong shoulder. He does so there. And now takes off. Here comes that near side neck shot. Knocked down. And it's going to be Facundo to come up with it right away. Facundo. Whoa. Near side back shot here, and good read by Torres. Hits the back shot here along the back line. Get to it. It's still in play. Facundo. Stolen, and then over the back line. I think you'll have a knock in here. It appeared to come off the back foot of Bignoli's horse. So I think just a knock, and like you said, everybody quickly changing horses here for Pilot. Man, Facundo dangerously close to his own end line. He's so skilled, so talented. For real. Man, good job, though, by Big Noli there to get in a sword fight. Facundo going to the left, comes back to it here on the right. Back the other way. Now it takes off running after getting away from Britos here for the second, for the, whoa! Ujoa, I don't think he was flattened out enough on that one. Looked like he was pretty well over the right away here. Facundo really had to ride this one out, too, to make sure that he got that whistle, too. Look at this horse make this move for Facundo. You'll see Hilario come in here. Yeah, yeah the, he's across the right thought away. Maybe there. he was getting pushed in, but you could see there, there was some separation between Ujoa and Torres. Appeared there. Let's see. The umpire is still discussing ball placement. I 
And while the umpires discuss this ball placement, maybe we can take another look at it here from the Oh, drum. we got a challenge on the play. I don't know if they're challenging ball placement or if they're challenging the decision here. Oh, man. I tell you what, it doesn't look that bad from there. That's not a bad challenge. But they're going to decline the challenge. Remember, there has to be 100% evidence for the uh, for the official to overrule the call on the field. So it's 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 a it's a high bar to to get over. All right, penalty four here, upcoming for Facundo Pires and Pilot. Chance to get this game tied up. It's about two and a half minutes remaining. Facundo still having a discussion here with the umpire. Not sure if he's now what thinking about a penalty three. Unless Facundo's but, challenging this, wanting a three. Now, challenge by red. Okay, so now we're getting a uh, we are getting a challenge here. So the umpire timeout and they're and they're challenging ball placement. Facundo wants a three, like you said. Let's see. Is there evidence to make this a three right here? You've got a man back. Yeah. I mean, Hilario and then two more blue jerseys behind. I I don't think so. We'll see, though. Danger on the play, ball placement. is what. Okay, I think that's great information coming in here. So challenges by red. And Facundo saying danger on the play should be taken into consideration in the, on the ball placement to make it up from a four to a three. We're waiting to find out if his arguments hold water. You know, strategically, too, it might not be another opportunity to use this challenge if you're Park Place. 229. Two minutes, plenty of time, really. Yeah. Remember, we've seen but that over it, the years. Right. Yeah, normally it comes it's... comes down to the last minute, last sec, you know, even the last 30 seconds. It can make a huge difference. Look at that. Looks like they're going to gonna get it. Get the challenge. Wow. All right. Challenge confirmed. So you get two challenges on the same play. The first is declined by Park Place. The second challenge comes from Pilot as to ball placement, and that's confirmed. So Pilot still keeps their challenge. Huge play right here. Unbelievable. Wow. So Pilot keeps a huge card in their back pocket because they get to challenge again. And with 229 left to go, that's still plenty of time. They might get to, to use that second challenge or use that challenge again sometime. So they approved. All right, challenge by Red. Danger on play. Ball placement approved. Red still has their challenge. Yep, there we go. And Facundo sends it straight on through, and we've got a tie ball game here. Man, this is turning into an epic game we're seeing here today. Seven goals for Facundo on the contest to get this game tied back up. <sighs> Oh, I have a feeling somebody's going to finish this one in regulation time, Toby. I didn't ask you for a, a, a delay I, a OT prediction. Maybe I, I should have. I did write it down. Oh, did you? Case, you said no OT? All right, look at that. This point. All right, here we go. It's going to be Facundo to win this play right here. He winds up, doesn't connect, but Santi doesn't connect either. Curtis Pilot comes in and moves that ball, and here comes the back shot there, and Ujoa gets on a breakaway here. What a play. Alario, man, he is so quick. When he saw Big Noli hit that back shot, he was gone, and here it is. Alario, Ujoa in the red zone. Alario got away. Did he get it? He got it. Ujoa, whoa, what a play, man. I tell you what. After all that work Pilot did to get that point on the board, Ojoa comes back and answers. But I tell you, an incredible assist here from Marcos Bignoli to make that one happen. Yeah, what a back shot. Took advantage of both guys missing that ball. Big time. And Hilario almost got away from him. I thought it rolled on the outside of the post. I did too for a second. We were blinded by the horse there, but what a finish there by Hilario. He has eight goals now on the day to surpass Facundo Pires for high score. Now Brito's getting caught right there. Coming back around, it's going to be Santi to push that ball forward here. Ujoa coming out, and good play right there by Marcos to keep Ujoa from making a foul by taking out that man. Ujoa, he's got the speed right here. He's getting back around. If he puts this one in, it is game over. Here comes the shot from Ujoa. Too much on it. It's over the back line wide, and we're under a minute left to go. Now Pilot has to score on this knock-in right now. 
enough time for Facundo Pires. We know that. Absolutely. Valario, he just killed some very precious seconds Here off the clock. Here we go. Facundo with the ball. Facundo goes left right here to Antonio Higgy. Antonio and Facundo goes up. Here comes the pass from Antonio. Oh, my gosh. It got knocked down right there. And now it's going to be Ujoa coming in on the near side. Burning up valuable time right here. Ujoa. Now Hagee back on that ball. Makes the hook on Bignoli. Turns it back. He doesn't have the time. He's got to get going right here. He's got to hit it hard. Antonio, not the hard that he was looking for there. Antonio, this time he connects, but too much time has elapsed. It's going to be Facundo here for that is it. Game, set, match. That's the final nail in the camel's back right there. 10-9 the score. We'll end this polo game. What a fun contest we saw here, Cody. Yeah, what a great game. Super close the entire way. Brilliant display from both teams. Facundo Pires, Hilario Ujoa, both dominant today. Hilario just getting the better of Facundo. Eight goals on the day for Hilario. They edge out Pilot by one. What a great first game of group play for these teams here. Tough you know, and they up. had it right there at the end. Facundo won that play. He missed the ball. Santi couldn't get to it either. And that's when Bignoli got the back shot off to send the shot to Ujoa, who was already breaking, going down hard. Anyway, for Cody Offen, I'm Toby Wayman. Thanks so much for tuning into the USP Polo Network. We will see you at our next live stream.